Okay, we are now at the academe subsector, and uh, we will be presenting the TWG series outputs um, that we have been doing. No, that we have been doing. Again, welcome and thank you for joining us. Um, I am Maan Sikam. For those who have who don't know me yet, I am the president and co-founder of Happy Helpers, and I'm also part or a board uh, board director of the Society for the Advancement of Social Entrepreneurship. I will be your moderator today for the uh, for this afternoon's breakout session. The 2023 PSES intends to give the roadmaps governance system leaders the platform to communicate what transpired in a series of subsector specific subsector specific technical working groups where the organization functions and accountabilities of the governance system across um, actors were thoroughly discussed as mentioned by carlo earlier today um, he did say that uh, all these twg series and governance system organizing did happen for each subsector. As a moderator or a secretariat for the academic sector, we have been working uh, since uh, October of last year. Now we had four weeks of sessions, and I'm very happy to to say, no, na. It was really the, the academic sector was the easiest uh, to organize to organize because everyone was really willing to donate their time, their commitment, their energy and resources to really share with everyone. No, um, so for today, for this afternoon, uh, I'd be introducing our presenter for today, and then uh, our presenter will be uh, doing a summary presentation of what what happened or the manifest uh, or what happened during the TWG series and really focus on the uh, manifesto uh, to establish and deliver the functions of what we are organizing the association of educators and school administrators for social enterprise development after that we will have a ceremonial manifesto signing among the founding members of our association then we will have time for some questions and answers. Um, um, after the discussion of the preliminary identified programs by the different academic institution. So, as I mentioned earlier, um, I, I was very happy and excited because it was really, really easy to organize and convene the academic sector. Maraming excited kasi marami na rin schools na marami ng programa. No, for social entrepreneurship. Although the concept is new for some schools, a lot of schools are actually have been doing it um, uh, on a more established basis. And we will see that today. Uh, we will introduce our presenter um, later on. But before that, I'd like to introduce to you or tell you who are the um, contributors to the 40 TWG meetings that we'd had from October to November. Um, they are uh, in alphabetical order. Uh, French Dampong uh, representing Capi State University, Mr. Sherwin Celestino and Ms. Divina uh, Garcia from Central Luzon State University, uh, Vesper Sierras and Bob Mill Flores from Jose Rizal Memorial State University, uh, Herman Hilda Sumag Pao from Quezon City University, Romel G. Ramos and Dr. Gerald Abergos from the University of Makati, Sherry Labotida from the University of Mindanao, Dr. Natalie Verseles from the University of the Philippines Center for Women's and Gender Studies, who I might note will be our speaker tomorrow as well, Ms. Janine Chong from Ateneo de Manila University, Marlo Novino Constantino Brasileño from Mindanao State University, Iligan Institute of Technology, Maria Cristina Ibanez from Miriam College, Eric Parilla from Northwestern University, Michael Tadukoy from Olivares College, Evelyn Pretencio from Timoteo Pais Integrated School, Cel Celso Aban from University of Santo Tomas, of course, our speaker for today as well, Norby Salonga from De La Salle University, Francis Datu, James Ronquillo, 
and Lovely Mercado from Brightwood School, Alan Gozon from University of San Carlos, Virginia Salonga, Giancarlo Timajo from Colejo de San Juan de Letran, Aristeo Mackay Lacuna from Southville International School and Colleges, and Teresa Paez from Centro Escolar University, Maria Edna uh, Blanca Flor from Edna School Dagupan, and Ryan Morales from Enderan College. These schools have diligently no, attended all our TWG meetings and helped us form the Governance Council for the Association of Academic uh, um, Institutions uh, for the Furtherance of Social Entrepreneurship. And so for today, I would like to introduce to you no, to present the output of the Association of Educators and School Administrator, Administrators for Social Enterprise Development. Let us welcome Mr. Norby Salonga. Sorry. Mr. Norby Salonga is, um, is the founding director of the Lasallian Social Enterprise for Economic Development, or LC, Center of De La Salle University. He teaches social innovation and entrepreneurship at the Department of Decision Sciences and Innovation of the Ramon V. Del Rosario College of Business in the same university. He is a professional fellow for economic empowerment of the Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative of the American Councils for International Education and the U.S. State Department Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affair Affairs and a trained regional facilitator of the British Council Philippines. He is the founder of the Y and the founding president of Youth Tech Philippines. In 2020, he was recognized by the Accreditation Council for Entrepreneurial and Engaged Universities as one of the top five finalists for Engagement Leader of the Year in Asia Pacific in recognition of his contributions to the landscape of the social enterprise sector. Mr. Salonga is a certified human resource professional as conferred by the International Federation of Professional Managers in the United Kingdom. At present, he is a PhD candidate in the Philippine Studies major in Development Studies, major in Development Studies, minor in Asian Studies, with distinction as a University Scholar Awardee, President's Lister from the Tri-College Program of the University of the Philippines, Diliman where he also obtained his degree in community development. Mr. Salongad completed a diploma course on strategic management of intellectual property from De La Salle University and participated in the economy of Francesco of the Vatican um, Dicastery for promoting integral human development. So everyone, please join me in welcoming our distinguished speaker for today, the chairperson of the academic sector, Mr. Norby Salonga. Hi, Sir Norby. Good Hi, afternoon. Ms. Maan. Good afternoon and good afternoon to all our viewers. Um, welcome again to the Philippine Social Entrepreneurship Summit. Um, let me just share my screen. Okay, let me know if it's presenting. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, and okay. we can hear you very well as well. Okay, thank you, Ms. Maan. As we know, um, the challenges brought about by COVID-19 pandemic across the key segments of development, um, including the academe, basically set barriers not only in the capacity of both the public and private se sectors to build back better, and address social, economic, and environmental divides. It has also pushed many institutions like us, the academia, to basically shape up and innovate. And that's one of the reasons why we're here as part of the academic, as part of the academe sector. We're here to commit ourselves to the development of the social enterprise development, and of course, to nation building. So I'm here to represent the academic subsector of the national governance or so of social entrepreneurship. And I'll be reading the manifesto to establish and, and um, deliver the functions 
of the Association of Educators and School Administrators for Social Enterprise Development. As you know, um, we're, we are just one of the five subsectors of the roadmap. And we're here to basically provide um, insights about the role, the formation, and educational role of the academe to, de to the development of the sector. Um, here are the officers of the Association of Educators and Social School Administrators of Social Enterprise Development. Yours truly, um, as chairperson from De La Salle University, we also have Mr. Eric Parilla my co-chairperson for, from Northwestern University. So we'll be representing the um, academic subsector to the National Governance Council. We also have our area cluster representatives from North Luzon. So we have Mr. Francis Arente Datu from Brightwood School. We have Ms. Devina Gracia Vergara from Central Luzon State University. Ms. Trixie Marie Sison from Miriam, Miriam College, Alvira. We have um, the representatives from NCR and South Luzon. Ms. Maria Cristina Ibanez from Miriam College. Mr. Aristeo Lacuna from Southville International School and Colleges. Mr. John Carlo Timajo from Colegio de San Juan de Letran, Manila. Mr. Gerald Abergos from the University of Makati. For Visayas, we have Mr. Alan Gozon from the University of San Carlos and Mr. French Dampog from the Capiz State University. For Mindanao, we have Mr. Constantino Brasileño from the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology, Mr. Bob Mill Flores from Hosorizal State Memorial University, and of course, Ms. Sherry Love Utida from the University of Mindanao. In terms of the representation of the academic sector uh, from the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, here is the map of um, the representatives from the different universities. Now let's proceed with um, our commitment to the development of the social enterprise sector. Um, let me read this first. Whereas BPI Foundation, through its BPI CNEG program, and in collaboration with big, SAPSE, and critical actors of the component subsectors of the country's social enterprise sectors, namely the corporations, cooperatives, NGOs, academe, and MSMEs, spearheaded the development of the National Social Enterprise Development Roadmap, herein after referred to as the Roadmap, which was launched in 2021's Philippine Social Entrepreneurship Summit. The roadmap is a national plan that has an goal of having a common understanding of what social enterprises are so that Philippine social enterprise sectors collective scope, size, and social environmental impact can be effectively grown. We're asked to sustain the implementation of the roadmap throughout the relevant five-year planning period. A key strategy identified was to establish a sector-led governance system which is represented at the national level by sectoral authorities that will lead the roadmap implementation throughout their subsectors. We're asked to jumpstart the implementation of the above mentioned key strategy. A series of technical working group meetings were conducted from September 2022 to February 2023 with critical actors of the component subsectors of the country's social enterprise sector corporation, cooperatives, NGOs, academe, MSMEs, slash associations, collectively here in referred to as the sub-sectors. The said PWGs have the following objectives. Number one is to establish a sector-led governance system represented at the national level by sectoral authorities that will lead the roadmap implementation throughout their sub-sectors and second, to organize subsectors into governance system with representation from the subsector's major APEX network. And the authorities of the academic subsector who participated in the said PWG meetings have agreed to organize the academic subsector's collective contribution to the roadmap's implementation by organizing relevant Philippine academic institutions into a network that will be known as the Association of Educators and School Administrators for Social Enterprise Development. Now, therefore, for and in consideration of the foregoing, 
The signatories to this manifesto, collectively here and referred to as the parties, have agreed to forge partnerships and work together for the collective contribution of the Association of Educators and School Administrators for Social Enterprise Development for the implementation of the roadmap towards the achievement of its end result. Now, we can proceed with the ceremonial signing of the manifesto. And at this juncture, I'd like to invite my fellow representatives from the academe to join me on screen uh, as we sign the R Manifesto of Commitment during the 2023 Philippine Social Entrepreneurship Summit. Um, for those uh, who can, who would like to be on stage for this, please raise your hand so we can put you on stage. Okay. I will... Miss Divina, who else is there? Sir Romel, okay. Okay, is anybody else there? We can have as much as 10 people on stage at the moment. Please raise your hand. Okay. And enable your cameras, please. There you go. Enable your camera so we can uh, take a picture of everyone signing or signed memorandum. Turn on your cameras, please. Okay. Let's take a few moments to just um, have everyone uh, come in. Anybody else from the leadership team here? Please raise your hand. Okay, I think uh, you just raise your hand. There's a raise your there's a raise your hand icon. Po. Okay, so right now we have Mr. Okay. 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 I think we have a few more coming in, Sir Norby Lang. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Anybody else in the room? Okay, if you have your please raise your hand if you're a signatory to the manifesto. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six people in the room right now. Okay. I think Sir Norby, we can proceed with the people in the room right now. Okay. Kami, we will 
uh, take a screenshot. Okay, thank you. Okay, so if you can raise your manifesto. Okay. And we will be uh, taking a picture. Okay, ready? Hold on. Sir, Sir Sherwin is uh, no, trying to catch up. Ayan. Can you connect, Sir Sherwin? We can't see you yet. Okay. Sige. Sir James, turn on. Your, is your camera on? There you go. If you can read your um, MOU with your signature, we will take a screenshot. In three, two, smile. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. We will do this again in our meeting. So don't worry about it. Sa mga hindi nakasama today, we'll do this again in our next meeting so we can have a a, a bigger uh, and fuller picture. Thank you very much, everyone. You can go off screen uh, at the moment already. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we can uh, proceed with our presentation. Sorry, sir. Uh, just to help Sir Narby here, um, for everyone else, you can press go off screen at the moment so we can have the limelight to Sir, ano, uh, sir Narby. Hello. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Maa. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Um, we'll share the association's members' preliminary identified program. As you know, a lot of universities in the Philippines have already started um, implementing social enterprise programs, research, social engagement, community development, and of course, curricular. So, um, during our consultations and technical working groups, we've um, collated a list of programs that we've identified that are aligned to be the uh, that are aligned with the direction of the national roadmap. And this is just to give you an overview of that. But when, when before, before we go to the details of the university's contribution, let me just highlight um, the action programs for the roadmap. So number one strategy is to organize the National Association of Educators and School Administrators. So we just had our meeting this month, our first meeting this month, basically discussing about um, our future direction as an association. So for those of you who might be asking what are the requirements, qualifications, what are the things that you can look forward to, um, we'll be sharing more information um, ne by next month after our first National Governance Council meeting. But I think what is important now is that we already have an association of educators and school administrators for social enterprise development. Um, with regard to strategies number two and three, um, these are the things that we, need, we want to share with you. Number one is we'll be organizing TATAC social enterprise programs and competitions for faculty and students. So this will provide um, these key stakeholders with an opportunity and open space where you can in fact share your ideas, develop innovative projects to be able to help your partner communities in their own locality. Second is to organize a social enterprise development organization for students. We put emphasis on the participation of students as key players. I was reading the comments earlier. How about the ones from the primary and the secondary? Right now, our main focus is more on, the, on building the capacity of our students from higher ed. But there are opportunities. In fact, there are universities here that have already, that have already started implementing programs of the secondary level. So we hope to develop more programs for um, all of the levels so that we can start the formation and appreciation of the concept of social entrepreneurship early on. Third, align the school's research agenda for faculty and students towards contributing to uh, the knowledge management hub. As, university, as universities, we are considered as the um, like source of um, knowledge information. And in the association, we commit ourselves to provide evidence-based position papers to support national and local social enterprise policies. Um, this will ensure that our, the policies that will be developed by our uh, officials or legislators are very much aligned with the results of the data and are very much consistent with the needs of the people that we work with, especially for academia through our um, community engagement and social engagement programs. 
Next, nominate faculty and students who can contribute to the Social Enterprise Registry and Social Enter Environmental Analytics Program. So we have um, several efforts to basically map out the kind, the spread, the number, the volume of impact of social enterprises in the country. So there is an ongoing SE registry right now which is being, uh, being led by the Poverty Reduction to Social Entrepreneurship Coalition. And separately, on a national level as well, um, the Council or the, um, the National Governance Council in cooperation with the Bayan Academy will also do the same thing. Next one is develop and offer social enterprise programs. So um, these are courses, um, major courses, electives, and even extension programs. Now we need to align or we need to integrate the concept of social entrepreneurship as part of the key trusts of um, universities and schools. And lastly, contribute to educators training programs for various subsectors. We believe in the association that um, the most important resource on the planet is human resource. And as educators, uh, we can only facilitate development, we can only guide and form our students if we are um, given the right opportunity to learn and to capacitate ourselves in teaching social entrepreneurship. So we'll create that opportunity um, to the association for the faculty and educators to guide our students in developing social enterprises and to use their own discipline um, in contributing to development to social entrepreneurship as a strategy. So these are some of the inputs from the road. Now let's uh, discuss the specific identified programs and federance of the Roadmaps Action Programs as contributed by um, the different universities who are part of this um, association. Um, so we have programs related to social enterprise programs in um, academic curriculum. We also have outreach or extension programs social enterprise development and incubation organization center, and knowledge management hub for research and curricula program. So these are just some themes of the ongoing efforts of the member universities and schools. For the Ateneo de Manila University, um, they have social enterprise service learning components under senior thesis of MECO and MGT courses. With regard to their outreach program, they have the Ateneo Tulong Tulong, and of course, the Ateneo Center for Social Entrepreneurship and Ethnic Development, Incubation, and Organization. For the Brightwoods School, they have the Brightwoods and Beyond as part of their SE development for academic curriculum, um, service learning program, faculty research and school research under the research and extension program, and of course, the proposed Brightwood Center for Social Enterprise, Empowerment, and Development under the Incubation Organization and Center. For the Capis State University, they have the Social Entrepreneurship course being offered to fourth-year BS Entrepreneurship students and, of course, the Business Plan Implementation on Social Entrepreneurship. For the Central Luzon State University, they have social entrepreneurship course offered to first year BS entrepreneurship students as part of their efforts on SE education and of course the business plan implementation program as a component of that course. Of course, for from De La Salle University's La Salle and Social Enterprise for Economic Development Center, we have the curricular and co-curricular program for major elective Student Affairs, NSCPL Seed, La Salle Core Curriculum, and Senior High School. We offer LT Certificate Course or Basic Certificate Course in Social Entrepreneurship. We also implement our Social Innovation and Entrepreneurship Research Program by working with researchers from local and international. We have LT Social Enterprise Marketplace for offline and online. For our Outreach Extension and in international pro Internationalization Programs, we have LTID Fellowship Program, LTID Internship and Volunteering Program, Advocacy and Internationalization Program, where we contribute to the Poverty Reduction to Social Entrepreneurship Coalition, the Social Enterprise Development for Student Organizations Program, our nationwide program called Angat Buhay Young Social Entrepreneurship Program, the Kaagapay sa Yugtuyugtot Abot Sayang Negosyo Project, and of course, for our internationalization, we have the Weekend, our collaboration among ASEAN nations plus Japan, China, and Korea International Media. 
For Ender and Polytech, they have the Social Entrepreneurship Class as part of their SC programs for academic curriculum. Um, for the Northwestern University, they have the Entrepreneurship Embedded in General Education Curriculum, Researches, and Professional Chair in Social Entrepreneurship. They also have an extension program called E2 or E-Entrepreneurship. And of course, um, the, the unit that is in charge of these efforts is called Research, Community, and Social Enterprise, the Social Development Division. For Olivares College, they have the MOVE, um, the Marketing and Operations Vying for Extension. For the Southville International School and Colleges, they have the Institutional Program for College or uh, COPE, uh, which means Community Partnership Outreach Program. The College of Education STEP or Secondary to Tertiary Passing Program. The South Build Business School, Samasa, Sustainable Management of Societies in Action. The College of Information Technology School, or Barangay Info Tourism Site. The College of Communication, MMA BIT, or Basic Education Enrichment Program. For their outreach and extension, they have College of Nursing, HEMA, or Health Education and Medical Assistance Program. For the College of Psychology, they have the Parenting Seminars at parenting seminars. For College of Tourism, they have set or advocacies on climate change and ecotourism. They also have Adopt a Couch Program and Angat Buhay, and they've been an Angat Buhay partner since 2016. For the Tibuteo Paes Integrated School, they have Project Para Ito, or Pazayans advocating relevant action towards innovative solution opportunities as part of their SE development and organization. For the University of the Philippines Center for Women and Gender Studies, they have the social and solidarity economy as part of the alternative pathway, sustainable human development, or basic introduction to the theory and practice of social solidarity economy. For their outreach and extension programs, they have the Endangering solidar Social Solidarity Economy, Social and Solidarity Economy as an Alternative Pathway to Sustainable Human Development or Basic Introduction to the Use of Social Solidarity, uh, Solidarity Economy or a Certificate Course to be offered in the first quarter of 2023. So I think that's all for the programs of the uh, member schools of the association, but let me just leave you with this um, quotation. We know that, you know, um, after COVID pandemic, um, a lot of institutions have to really rely on the most important resource, which is human resource. But I'd like to remind you that the pivotal role of academia is not limited to educating minds. So we're here to form, to help form a generation that understands the value of education in real life. So as part of the academe, we commit ourselves to constantly uh, remind ourselves of this role of the academe in forming the new generation of social entrepreneurs and social enterprise advocates. That's all, and thank you very much. Thank you very much, Norby. Sobrang, sobrang inspiring, no? Um, I will now share my screen. At this point in our discussion, we are accepting um, questions, um, comments from the audience. You can type them in, you can raise your hand, or we can put them in the um, chat. You can put them in the chat box and I can read through them. But what I've learned in the past few months, no, working with the academic sector, is that I think what I the message as well that I'd like to tell everyone in the room right now, both for academic institutions and students, uh, what I've learned is that the academic sector is a very collaborative group. We like to share learnings, research, resources, and I think. This endeavor on organizing uh, the National Association of Educators and School Administrators for social enterprise development, I think this endeavor to organize the sector will really solidify and strengthen the resources that we already have. Kasi parang, di ba, sir, Norby ang nangyayari, kanya-kanyang discarded. People don't know where to start, you know, or 
nagiging iba-iba yung communication. And with the National Social Enterprise Roadmap, it's really, you know, trying to put unifying the message so that it will be a stronger message. Hindi ba? So, any questions? Um, so, may I ask on how to join in faculty and student business pitching po? Um, there are several programs from different schools in faculty and student pitching, but if you would like to know more about um, the activities that will happen for uh, next year, uh, starting next year and in the next five years, we do encourage you to join the association by emailing us at sapse.ph at gmail.com. Um, next is how do we measure the impact of those in 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 inventions or I guess innovations and programs. So as mentioned by Sir Norby earlier, we are doing a national um, registry of social enterprises and all these programs. And that registry is um, accessible to all. And we are hoping that we will be able to real-time see and understand the impact of both social enterprises and social enterprise programs um, as relate to, related to their mission and our SDGs you know, na kailangan nating i-fulfill. So definitely measuring the impact is one of the activities that we would like to do. And definitely I feel that the academic sector can be a major um, contributor you know, to solidifying the measuring of um, um, impact. Uh, again, so it's a Sir Norby question for you. Is there a possibility that DepEd include SE on their curriculum guide? Yeah, that definitely. Uh, we've been doing that in La Salle, and I think in the um, recent joint committee hearing of the Poverty Reduction to Social Entrepreneurship Bill, the DepEd has in fact um, submitted their position to support oh, um, the wonderful. passing of the bill. So I think once the once the law once the bill is passed, there is an opportunity for us to really improve and integrate the concept of social entrepreneurship. Um, in fact, other universities, I think Sir Francis already, has already mentioned, um, like other university schools have already started because there is a way to include social entrepreneurship as part of your entrepreneurship track, as part of the curriculum, which can be offered to all of the tracks. So I think that's an opportunity we can also explore. Yeah. So, ipa-plug ko rin din ngayon, Sir Norby. The present coalition has a virtual booth um, in our Hubilo platform. So, do please visit it. We have There's a uh, video on how you can learn more about the present bill and uh, the activities that has been going on or that the activities that the present coalition has been doing. So, do visit that virtual booth in this Hubilo platform. Uh, next, oh, thank you, Sir Nino. We are excited to take part in the National Association. So do please email us. Okay, uh, from Ms. Miraflor, I am the president of Caregivers in the Philippines Association. Would like to join. Okay, uh, Sid is in our audience. Uh, do uh, take note on our email, but do, Ms. Miraflor, do email us as well. Okay. Um, Again, how to be a member. So, see, everybody's so excited, Sir Norby. Our, everybody's so excited to join uh, the association. Uh, do just email us at uh, sapse.ph at gmail.com. Ayan. Uh, ayan. And then from Ms. Paula, thank you, sir. Hopefully, the current curriculum of DepEd uh, be revised that, so that yes, it can be formally included. Of course, yun po yung ating goal talaga. Yun yung ating dream, no? Maging uh, norm ang uh, uh, social entrepreneurship. Uh, daming, bo- daming message. Oh, oh, nga eh. From uh, Kami just posted the, um, the booth of pre- the present coalition. Sydney just also posted the link uh, on uh, how to join Okay. From Ms. Le- Leda, our challenge in the university is to incorporate ST to science and technology since we don't have business um, courses. 
Sir, I think Sir Norby may masasagot kay dito because I know Lasalle is doing this already. Yeah. Since we don't have business courses, but we do have technopreneurship and the entrepreneurial mind, the university is open to explore possibilities. Maybe you can share something about how Lasalle has integrated it into different um, colleges as colleges. well. Yeah. The good thing about the concept of social entrepreneurship is that it's not limited to business. It is an interdisciplinary approach where people coming from different disciplines can, in fact, use their innovative mindset to develop solutions to our problems. In fact, some of the brightest um, and um, yeah, brightest solutions that I've heard from students are really from the engineering, from the liberal, sometimes liberal arts. So I, I think it's your way of just like opening that space to your students and uh, giving them the opportunity to just share their ideas. Because sometimes the weirdest ideas are the best ideas. We exactly. Have, have the very to true. To do very true. And I, I think one thing that I want to remind everyone is that parang one thing that we need to teach our students is that you know when whether they're in engineering or liberal arts, yeah. not just in business, but we're what we're trying to do here is find solutions exactly. for social problems. So any social problem can be you know, solved by different aspects it could be technology it could be service it could be the written word even someone can publish a book so it, marami pong paraan and there any ways, one of several those ways. Yeah. several ways and the, all of those can be um an enterprise or they can okay. work together like exactly a group. they can work exactly. together yeah and tomorrow siguro, siguro before i move on to the next comment uh tomorrow actually we will have another yeah. session with sir norby and some of other um fellow um uh, academic institutions personalities on sharing their journey on how they did that so kaya nga we'd like to encourage other academic institutions you know it may sound daunting it may sound overwhelming how do i incorporate social entrepreneurship in my school. So tomorrow, uh, one of our breakout sessions is we will actually have a sharing of the journey of different types of schools. So you have Sir Norby, who already have, you know, uh, years of established social entrepreneurship in schools. But we also have um, Brightwoods, for example, who is not actually a university, but a K-12 uh, program school, so how are they able to do it? So um, I'd like to invite everyone to uh, attend tomorrow's session. So you yeah. can, if you hear these stories, then baka mas maging uh, uh, ano siya, less overwhelming or at least <laughs> we can ask the speakers tomorrow ano po ba yung step one? Parang ganon. <laughs> we can provide the details tomorrow. We do not exactly. want to preempt the session. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Okay, from Mr. Michael, we also offer social enterprise course in universal entrepreneurship but no references on local settings. Uh, Sir Michael, Bayan Academy actually has a lot of resources on local um, examples and local case studies. I know I also Ascent also have done a lot of uh, research on case studies. So um, do message us so we can let you know as well. Siguro this is also maganda rin to Sir Norby you know, on, on especially knowledge um, hub or managing information. Kasi minsan Yun nga, meron kang social enterprise course, pero mahirap. No, and, and, and it's really true. Mahirap humanap ng uh, local um, examples. Literature, that's correct. Local yeah. literatures. But there's a lot. Hindi lang po talaga siya as widely distributed as it's the foreign exactly. ones. Exactly. Okay. And we need more researchers to do studies related to SE. Yes, definitely. So, ini encourage din po namin kayo lahat. Okay. Um, I would like to join the association. Yes, do email us, please. West Visaya State University. Uh, do email us, maxen.ph, email. Ayan, ang dami na natin, sir, members. Ayan. There are no requirements. Um, um, if if you if the student organization would like to uh, join as well, it could be a student leader. It's fine po. Uh, okay, so from Sir Darwin from General Santos, please email us. Sydney just sent out the link uh, as well on how you can join. 
ayan. Uh, Kami also has uh, already said that ito, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow, the title of our session is Building an SE Program in Your Academic Institution, Journey of Academic Institutions in Building Social Enterprise Development Programs in Curriculum Development, Community Extension Services, and Research. So, bukas po yan from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Yes, I agree there are limited literatures and local authors. Kaya nga po, para, that's why we need a lot more case writers, uh, researchers. So, yun po yung kailangan natin in our academic institutions because there are a lot there are a lot of social enterprises in the Philippines. Hindi lang po siya documented. Ayan. Ayan, local literatures. Yun pa rin. Um, okay. Thank you. This, yeah, okay. Any more questions? So very lively po yung ating discussion. A lot are interested. We are also very excited. Ako, every time there's a meeting with the academic sector, I'm also I'm always so excited because everyone's so energetic and collaborative. Marami pong ideas. No? And uh, like Sir Norby has said earlier, no, it's our role in the academe to mold <laughs> the mind to form the minds of, of our students. Malaking malaki po ang ating responsibility in the social enterprise sector. Okay. So, um, so again, we'd like to invite everyone um, to be part or to be a member of the Association of Educators and School Admit Administrators for Social Enterprise Development. You may register here at this link or scan the QR code in your Guys, screen. Are you right the new now. I think Sydney has also are you the new um, put in the chat box you the link the so it's easier for CFD you to officer. click on it. Or just email us at sapse.ph at gmail.com and we will also register you. But just to also give you no some ano naman, parang I know everyone's very excited. And the summit today and tomorrow is really the first step of the next five years of activities that we will be um, doing. But just to give you uh, a framework on what will happen on March 20, um, the chairman and co-chairman of each of the subsector will be convening and meeting for the National Governance Council. And on um, the second day, uh, the next day, the Association of Educators and School Leaders for Social Enterprise Development will also be convening. So do expect, um, if you would like to join, that you you will be receiving emails from us. And do participate kasi marami, ako, every time there's we have a meeting, maraming marami talaga akong natututunan. No? So, thank you very much everyone uh, for uh, joining us today. Um, thank you very much for all your comments and inputs. Um, to know more about what will happen or what is happening uh, in the academe subsector, we would like to invite you again tomorrow no? at 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Several schools will be sharing their journeys and the journeys are in different stages. No? Meron po tayong beginner, meron po tayong expert. And one of the shares for tomorrow will also be uh, a winner from the BPI CNAG competition uh, for the academic sector, sharing their learnings also on, on how um, they started their journey on social entrepreneurship. Okay. Thank you very much, Sir Norvi. Thank you very much for joining Thank us you. today. And uh, really being, giving so much energy and time and effort um, to the furtherance of the National Social Enterprise Roadmap. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, I will be staying in the room for a few minutes. If you have uh, some more questions, Rod Mark is also here with me in the room. But definitely, no. Uh, do please, if you want to join, I, I'm going to uh, go back my slides so you can. Yeah. So if you want to join the National Association. Um, 
Uh, you can click on this link or uh, click on a uh, scan the QR code that is in your screen right now. Main page, where on main page. Thank you very much, Sir Norby, and thank you very much, everyone. Uh, very efficient po ang ating session today. Um, the MSME, I think the MSME session is still ongoing in the main room. So for those who would like to watch the presentation on the uh, social entrepreneurs, um, do please join the next room. Hi, Sir Norby, are you still there? Maybe we can also, I can stop sharing my screen. If you would like to flash the QR code for the survey, since there's still around 200 people in the room here. Sige, let me just get it. Uh, so, wag muna po kayong umalis. Uh, meron po kaming, ano, meron po kaming ipapakita. There's a, um, there is a uh, survey from the present coalition. If you can please help us. No? fill out the survey especially for the social enterprises who are here in this room right now um, from Ms. Uh, can we request a copy of video clips from the virtual booth I'm not very sure Miss Ma'am but um, I know that the Hubilo platform will be on for one week so I think you can either just screen record it uh, you can do it uh, again later on Okay. Yeah. So if you can stay on for a few minutes, Sir Norby will be sharing uh, his screen on um, a survey. So for especially for the social enterprises who are here in this room right now, uh, please do answer the survey. John Rick, do you have a question? Yeah. So again. Sigo, let me just share my screen. Yes, sir. Um, please participate in our ongoing survey um, related to the profiling of the social enterprises yes. in the country. So here's... Yeah, there you go. There. I, sir, I am. Yeah, yeah, we can see it already. Sir, maybe we can, ano, we can type the the link. Uh, yeah. Let me. SEP profiling survey. Ayan, there. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you. So, yeah. so we hope yeah. to be able to gather information about the spread, the number, the volume, the, or even the impact of the social enterprise segments in the country. So um, please help us uh, by answering the survey if you are a social enterprise or social entrepreneur. Um, and please share this to your network of cooperatives, yeah. microfinance institutions, Fair kid organizations and new generation social enterprises. So this is the survey questionnaire for social enterprises in the Philippines. So this will help us develop programs um, that are responsive to the needs of the sector. So please participate in the survey. Okay, so we'll just post this for a few minutes before we close our session for today. So the link is on the chat box. Uh, do please, I, if, you, if you know a social enterprise or if you are a social enterprise, please do click on the link or scan the QR code um, on your screen right now. Okay, and again, before we end the session, I would like you either to go back to the main stage or do visit our virtual booths where um, um, where the present coalition booth is there so you can know more about the present bill. Or if you want to understand <coughs> excuse me, more about the national roadmap, do visit the um, Bayan Innovation Group 
booth as well. So we have a few more minutes uh, before we end today's um, today's uh, session. Uh, not this breakout room, but we're all going back to the main room. So while we are waiting for the other group uh, to finish, you may go back to the uh, main stage uh, to see and view the uh, social enterprise sector. Or you can visit the virtual booths to know more about our partners uh, that have been supporting us for the National Social Enterprise Roadmap. Yan. Thank you. Thank you once again, Sir Norby. Super thank you. And thank you, everyone at the academic sector. Um, I will see you again tomorrow for a much, much more exciting and lively discussions. I'm sure mas marami. With more tanong. details. With more <laughs> details, definitely. At I'm sure mas marami rin tanong. <laughs> yun, yung, yun yung exciting then tomorrow. So with that, thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you later. See you. Thank you.